Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, the Tactical Baddie, and I'm here with another video to inform my girlies here on how to stay pretty and protected. Today's video I feel like is beneficial because a lot of people I know want to conceal carry and that's the ultimate goal, but they kind of don't know where to start. Like, of course, a firearm is a big purchase. It's like multiple hundreds of dollars just for like, for just the base model. So um, let's face it, firearms are super de duper expensive. Okay, people ain't trying to spend no $800,000, $900,000 in most cases to just be able to protect themselves daily. Okay, so if you're gonna spend that kind of money, there's a you want to be well informed and you want to know what you need to know and you want to make sure you even know the things that you don't know that you need to know before you do it and you spend that kind of money and invest that kind of money in a purchase and a commitment. So, a couple of points, well, five points, letting you know what you need to know before you choose to conceal to carry or before you begin to carry a handgun. So, without further ado, we're just going to jump right into this video and give you guys this valuable information. Okay. The first thing that you need to know before you start carrying a handgun is the law. You got to know the law, sis. Unfortunately, it's just one of those things. <laughs> it's not the most exciting thing to learn, but when you do, you'll be glad you did because it's going to keep you out of jail and it's going to keep you out of a situation that nobody ever plans to be in, right? So you definitely want to know the laws in your state. First off, you want to know if you're able to carry a handgun. You need to know if you need a license or a permit to carry that handgun. You need to know um, if you are able to carry that handgun concealed or if it needs to be open carry. Um, I don't know if that law stands anywhere, but you need to know all of these things. You need to know what the laws are and what the laws are not. If you're going to carry a firearm, then these are going to be things that you need to know. And you need to know them before you go buy a handgun because... Who knows the the firearm laws change so often and they're so weird and quirky sometimes that you want to make sure that you're not accidentally purchasing anything illegal anyway so definitely before you start carrying a handgun you need to know the laws of your state and even of your county that's the best way that you're going to be able to protect yourself should you ever have to actually use the firearm that you're carrying make sure you know the laws of the land boo. is important <laughs> the second thing you're going to want to know before you start carrying a handgun on your person, concealed or open, is what size, what caliber, and what firearm is right for you. Everybody doesn't fit the same um, handgun style, size, caliber, uh, brand. Everything doesn't work for everyone. Someone who has a job as a Pilates instructor and wants to carry would be different than someone who is a construction worker and wants to carry. Your needs are different and your lifestyle is different. So you need to know what handgun is gonna suit your needs the best because if you get something that's too big or too high of a caliber, has too much kickback for you or has too much recoil, excuse me, for you, um, and it, your hand doesn't fit all the way around it and it's not comfortable, um, the, the, the grip isn't comfortable, um, you can't grip it properly, you can't hold on to it when you shoot it, all those things are important. And then also if the gun is, or if the handgun is, firearm is large and bulky, um, you're going to be less likely to want to carry it around with you where you can actually access it or get to it quickly in an emergency situation. If it's a huge handgun and you're, for example, a yoga instructor or a Pilates teacher, and you're never going to want to carry that on you in your bag, keep it with you in the gym somewhere. So you're going to be less likely to carry it, which means you're going to be less likely to be able to access it in a situation where you might need it. Whereas if you had gotten a a small, a smaller handgun that's uh, with less recoil that better fits your needs and can be better concealed on your person or in your bag or in your purse or wherever, you're more likely to keep that on you all the time. You, um, it's comfortable, you picked it out, it's light, it, it becomes just an accessory just like your phone sooner or later if you pick the right one and become comfortable with it. So I definitely say you need to know what size, caliber, and style handgun is best for you and your lifestyle and your need, whatever you're going to use it for. The third tip that I need to offer you guys and that I think you should know before you start carrying a handgun is how to handle your firearm. It does no good, y'all. 
I love you, I love y'all, but it does y'all no good to get gifted a firearm or buy a firearm and you have it and it's never come out of the case. You've never loaded it, you've never unloaded it, you've never shot it, you don't know how to load it. You don't know what to do with it. Like, I, and that's a common, and that's an honest mistake. Like people, people purchase firearms with honestly with the thought that you will never have to use it we all do but this is a scary world and this world has changed it is changing continuously it's becoming less and less safe for us and our kids and our loved ones and our families and just it's just it's unsafe to go to the grocery store now hate to be that person but I've always felt like that but <laughs> um and like for the last four or five years anyway you know what you want to be able to learn how to access your weapon quickly. Make sure it's loaded. If the if a round is not chambered, chamber a round um, and have it ready to use if you need to use it. Like those things are important. So before you carry a handgun on you, you definitely need to know how to use it. In my opinion, when I say how to handle your firearm, know how to handle your firearm. At minimum, you need to know how to load it. You need to know how to shoot it, and you should know how to clear a malfunction or misfeed, should that happen. Now, the likelihood of that happening, if you've hardly ever shot your gun, like more than once or twice, the likelihood of that happening is lower um, because of some reasons that malfunctions happen. It's usually because something's dirty, something's in there that's misfed. We can talk about that in a later video if y'all are interested in those types of things. But yes, at minimum, you should know how to load your gun because <laughs> it's literally just a tool, like a hammer, like a bat, not even like a knife. A knife is more deadly than a gun if there's no ammunition. All you can do is throw it at somebody or hit somebody with it. So if you don't know how to load it, like you up the creek. So go ahead and learn how to do that. Learn how to load it. Um, the second one, learn how to shoot it. You can get away with that um, a tiny bit for a little while because there's this thing called dry firing, just uh, exercises you can do around the house with an unloaded handgun. And it's literally just what some people will call playing with your gun. You, you just go through all the strokes, um, unholster, do your grip, get on target, pull the trigger. It's just doing those repetitions over and over and you can do that in the house to become more comfortable with using your firearm and more comfortable with the idea of having to pull it out, get on target and shoot. Um, you should do that at minimum. However, I will say that you should shoot it before you have to sh shoot it or use it in a potentially life-threatening situation. Um, just so that you know what it feels like and what it sounds like to shoot a, a gun or your gun. Um, it's very, very loud. Like, it was much louder than I anticipate when I first did it. Anticipated when I first did it. Um, and the recoil or the kickback, the motion that it makes after it, the, the bullet leaves the chamber, um, or the round leaves the chamber, it's very strong. And a lot of people don't anticipate it. A lot of people actually lose their grip or drop the gun. So, it's really in your best interest <laughs> to familiarize yourself with all that by going and practicing shooting or at least dry firing around the house to understand what that feels like and understand just how to handle your firearm if you're going to carry it and potentially be in a situation where you have to use it. Okay, so that brings us to number four. To piggyback off number three, the fourth thing that you should know before you start carrying a handgun is know what you're getting yourself into. I spoke about this a little bit in number three with um, managing the recoil, understanding how much your handgun weighs, how heavy it actually is, um, the actual mechanics you have to use to shoot it, as well as the sound it makes when it goes boom. <laughs> like all of those things can be very jarring or very shocking if you wait until a potential situation where you have to lose it use your firearm to preserve your life or save your life or someone with you serve to save their life if you wait until that situation it's going to be a lot more shocking and um probably a lot more difficult to process than if you familiarize yourself with how heavy your gun is how strong the recoil is and how loud it's going to be when you shoot it. These are all things that I would say are important to know or to learn before you decide to carry a handgun every day. 
there are things that I knew beforehand and I know for a fact that they made me more comfortable in a, a better firearms owner in general. So make sure that you know those things too. The fifth and final important thing that I would say that you need to know before you begin carrying a handgun is know your reason for wanting to carry. Um, I know in my case, my pure and only reason for carrying is for protection and for life preservation. Um, and the fact that I know that and that I can continuously refer to that and think back to that and keep that at the forefront of my mind, the better I can move and minimize situations where I can potentially have to use that, if that makes sense. Know your reasoning for one. If, if your reason for caring is to protect yourself, you're naturally going to be more heightened. Um, your senses are naturally going to be more heightened to situations where you, you're like, uh, probably not going to go to that place because I might have to to start busting. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, but you can actually, it just, I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's, I guess it's just a weird feeling of like protection or responsibility or something. Maybe it's a mom thing. I don't know, but it just makes you, it just heightens your senses, senses and makes you more privy to situations around you. So just make sure that you know why you want to carry. And that'll always be something that you can refer to in your mind and help you assess various situations and just how you want to move out here so just make sure that you always know and remember your why for wanting to carry a handgun all right guys well that is it for this video i thank y'all for rocking with me again all the way until the end so if you did go ahead and click that subscribe button leave me a like or a comment give me some good feedback positive or well i ain't gonna say or negative because i ain't gonna let the nonsense live i'm just gonna be honest with you <laughs> i'm just gonna be honest with y'all i'm gonna delete it i'm gonna delete it but um yeah just subscribe guys for future content um i'll be back at you guys with another one and leave me ideas if there's something specific that you want to know about as far as concealed carrying open carrying tactics shooting anything firearms related um leave it in the comments and i'd be happy to make some content on it um, with some valuable resources so until next time guys remember stay pretty and protected and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye